Melissa Sue Anderson gained immense popularity through her captivating portrayal in the national broadcasting company drama series Little House on the Prairie. Melissa embodied the character of Mary Ingalls, the eldest child and sister in the show. She shared many similarities with Mary, being a reserved and slightly introverted girl who found solace in books rather than in adventurous endeavors like tree climbing. Born on September 26, 1962, in Berkeley, California, Melissa embarked on a new chapter in her life when her family relocated to Southern California due to her father's job transfer. Melissa's journey into acting began due to her struggle with asthma. Seeking an alternative outlet for her creative energy, she enrolled in dancing lessons taught by Louis Dupree. It was through her dance instructor's encouragement that she discovered her talent for acting. Melissa reminisced about her initial aspirations of becoming a dancer, but her instructor believed that acting would be a beneficial pursuit for her. Intrigued by the idea, she decided to take some acting lessons. From that point on, Melissa persistently urged her mother for an entire year to find her an agent, hoping that a brief stint in a commercial would satisfy her burgeoning interest in acting. In her memoir, titled The Way I See It, Melissa candidly reflects on the portrayal of Mary Ingalls in the Little House book series. Initially, she felt somewhat underutilized in the role as her acting abilities were relatively unknown, and the writers, including Michael Landon, were reluctant to take risks by providing substantial material for her character. However, fate took an unexpected turn when Michael Landon fell ill with meningitis, rendering him unable to film his close-up shots for a scene in The Raccoon, Season 1, Episode 10. In a bold move, Landon instructed the editor to test the scene without his presence, believing that Melissa had the potential to carry it on her own. To everyone's delight, she exceeded expectations and proved her ability to shine independently. Season 4 presented Melissa Sue Anderson with her most challenging acting endeavor as her character, Mary Ingalls, faced the daunting prospect of going blind. Knowing that Mary's blindness was a significant development in the original books, Melissa approached Michael Landon, seeking assurance and guidance. Landon, having faith in Melissa's abilities, simply told her to trust him. Determined to bring authenticity to her portrayal, Melissa worked diligently to make the character's blindness believable, delving into the depths of her acting prowess. Her exceptional performance in the episode titled, I'll Be Waving As You Drive Away, garnered recognition and acclaim. Melissa's portrayal of Mary Ingalls earned her a nomination for an Emmy Award in the category of Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series. Though she did not win the prestigious accolade, this nomination marked a pivotal moment in her career, firmly establishing her presence in the industry. Coincidentally, on the same day that Melissa received her Emmy nomination, August 10, 1978, she also achieved another significant milestone in her life. At the tender age of 15, she graduated from high school. However, her education journey was unconventional. Due to her demanding on-set schedule, Melissa only spent one month each year at Flintridge Sacred Heart Academy in La Canada, Flintridge. The rest of her education was facilitated by her dedicated on-set tutor, Mrs. Minier, who ensured that Melissa received a well-rounded education while pursuing her acting aspirations. While Melissa Sue Anderson honed her acting skills on the set of Little House on the Prairie, she also had the opportunity to learn valuable lessons from the show's esteemed creator, Michael Landon. Observing him in action as a director, Melissa absorbed insights into the art of filmmaking. One memorable day, Landon turned to her and offered a profound invitation, saying, quote, You want to be a director? Watch this. Recognizing Melissa's inquisitive nature and potential, Landon appreciated not only her beauty and talent, but also her intelligence and curiosity. He believed that by the time she reached the age of 20, she would possess the ability to both star in and direct films, an impressive prediction. Melissa's contributions to Little House on the Prairie garnered widespread recognition and acclaim. In 1975, she had the honor of sharing the Western Heritage Award for Fictional Television Drama with her fellow cast members, Ed Friendly, Michael Landon, Karen Grassel, and Melissa Gilbert. 
Additionally, in 1980, she graciously accepted the TP de Oro Award in Spain, where she was recognized as the best foreign actress, an accolade that highlighted her talent transcending borders. Her remarkable achievements were further celebrated in 1998, when she was inducted into the prestigious Great Western Performers Hall of Fame by the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, an acknowledgement of her significant contributions to the Western genre. Amidst her time on Little House on the Prairie, Melissa received a special request from Michael Landon himself. He asked her to portray his former girlfriend in his autobiographical television movie titled The Loneliest Runner. Melissa Sue Anderson's talent and versatility extended beyond her iconic role in Little House on the Prairie. In the American Broadcasting Company after-school special titled Which Mother is Mine?, her remarkable portrayal earned her a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Children's Programming, a testament to her ability to captivate audiences of all ages. In 1981, she received a nomination for Best Young Motion Picture Actress at the Youth in Film Awards for her role in the psychological thriller Happy Birthday to Me. Melissa also made appearances in popular television series such as Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Murder, She Wrote. Additionally, she had the opportunity to portray the First Lady in the television miniseries titled 10-5 Apocalypse, showcasing her range as an actress. Melissa did not meet her future husband, Michael Sloan, until she was cast in the series Alfred Hitchcock Presents, with Michael as a writer and executive producer. They also worked together on The Equalizer and television movies Memories of Manon, the return of Sam McCloud, an earthquake in New York. During their collaboration, Melissa Sue Anderson and Michael Sloan presented the idea of Where Pigeons Go to Die to Michael Landon. Impressed by their pitch, Landon not only agreed to work on the project, but also recognized Melissa's contribution by making her an associate producer, a testament to her talents and creative inputs. In her personal life, Melissa found love and companionship in Michael Sloan, and they exchanged vows on March 17, 1990. Their family grew with the arrival of their daughter, Piper, born on February 15, 1991, and their son, Griffin, who joined them on June 14, 1996. Melissa made a significant decision to prioritize her role as a mother and devote more time to her children, choosing to step back from acting. She explained, quote, I decided to retire when I had my kids and to work only occasionally for friends. I never wanted to see that look on my children's faces. The look she referred to was the experience of Michael Landon's daughter feeling neglected at her birthday party while her father was overwhelmed by fans seeking his attention. In 2010, Melissa chronicled her life and experiences in her memoir titled The Way I See It, A Look Back at My Life on Little House. Reflecting on her choices, she expressed immense joy and fulfillment in prioritizing her role as a parent and being present for her children daily. Despite the enjoyments she derived from her career, Melissa found even greater happiness in her parental role, considering it the most difficult yet rewarding job. Confident in her decision, she believed it was the right path for her and her family. Melissa's children grew into remarkable individuals, and she took immense pride in being their mother, a role that brought her immeasurable fulfillment and purpose. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.